The winds and sisters have backed off just a bit as we're seeing that northeast wind move through the area and that's what's carrying that smoke to the southwest. It has impacted our Cascade Mountains. We've seen some of that smoke mixed in with some of those clouds. It may actually turn out to give us a very nice sunset. So if you get any good sunset pictures, send them my way, ktvc.com. Temperatures are the next on my list to pay attention to as we see a substantial warm up heading our way for the weekend. Join me here in just a bit in the full forecast and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Lee, back to you. Today in a virtual forum, the public gave its comments on Dr. Becky Johnson, who's expected to be approved as interim president of Oregon State University. She currently serves as vice president of OSU Cascades. She's been with the college for 30 years. The Board of Trustees meets Friday to consider appointing her until a new president is hired. Well, clearly at a smaller scale, my role at OSU Cascades has included many of the same things as are addressed in the role of OSU's president. I believe that with the support of a strong team throughout the university, I can step into the role of interim president and help advance the needs and priorities of the university and the OSU community. Becky Johnson also said she aims to build an inclusive educational environment for students, faculty, and staff. Community members can provide feedback on the nominee until 5 p.m. tomorrow. Today, Ben Lapine Schools held a virtual interview for the four finalists of the uh, principal position at Lapine High. Each applicant presented his or her qualifications and took questions from the public. A large focus of the event was returning from COVID-19. I think it's really important to not focus totally on the gaps. Our students have learned a lot in this last year. And um, if we focus totally on what are the gaps, we're focusing on the deficits and our students are totally intellectually capable of making this up. It's really important that we, we, we recognize that every student and every family the community member is going to be in a different place uh, when we return to our buildings full time without the restrict current restrictions. And I think it's also uh, it's been on the radar for districts prior to COVID, but uh, social social emotional learning and supports um, need to be a priority. You know, we can do as all kinds of different things to try to help students learn. Ultimately, they are the one who does the learning. So it's a change of mindset and confidence and belonging for those students. Yeah, overall, all, we're, we're always gonna meet our students where they're at. Um, and I, I got that same vibe from um, the staff and the, the students that we talked with today. Um, so meet them where they're at, take a look and see what it is they need to get to the level we need them at. 